Oh, I'm Tony. Thank you very much for having me here today. I left school when I was 14. So, um, call it a midlife crisis at like early 20s. Um, I sat there and I had to really think about what did I want to do with my life. And I was like, right, I need to go and work in the field of communications. Nobody would hire me. I didn't have a qualification. I knew what I was doing, had no qualification. So I had to come back for a third time <laughs> to actually find and get my degree. Um, which led me to Unitech. Um, I often found now a, a lot of jobs, especially the ones that I've been working in, you're no longer a specialist, you're a generalist. You need to know, and this is predominantly because of how our economy currently is, um, you're effectively doing the work of six people in one job. So you've got to write the press release, you've got to do the Photoshop, you've also got to do the admin, you've also got to run around and do the hiring and firing, You've got to do look after budgets, you've got to know your financial applications, you've got to know how to do a number of tasks. So there's no such thing as being, I'm a public relations professional, you're actually a public relations generalist. You're doing a whole lot more than what you actually initially think you're doing. Some of the key skills that you really need is listening and speaking and networking. You've got to be able to listen to people. Communications is a fast paced industry, you tell somebody something once, that's it, you move on. There's no room for asking second or third questions. We move at a very fast pace in my particular position I'm in now. Um, we get told something, we're action and it's out the door by that afternoon. We don't have room for asking multiple questions or if you're not listening properly. Speaking, you've got to speak up for yourself because I tell you what, nobody else is going to stand up for you in that office. You really need to own yourself and be confident in what you're saying to others and back yourself up. I always go with my gut feeling, but I like to back it up with data. And most jobs that you go into now are data driven. So they want to know the stats, they want to know the analytics, but sometimes chuck in that gut feeling because nine times out of 10, your gut feeling's right. You're writing. The amount of people we have turned away who cannot write is really, really shocking. And a lot of people think they can write. Yeah, they can't. Unique, creative ways of writing really actually it's like the foundation of being a comm student. If you can't write, I highly suggest you start looking elsewhere. And I know that's really cutthroat, but that's perfectly honest. Sometimes people are better to be honest now than later. You need to know how to forecast. You need to be able to critical think and look ahead. But a lot of companies now are shifting their marketing efforts all online. Traditional's not used that much anymore. Research and creativity. You really got to be creative. If you're not, um, I suggest you go do some creative classes because um, we've always like unique ideas. You've also got to have people skills. You've got to be able to go up to somebody and talk to them, even if you've never met them. Uh, be a sponge. So this comes back to learning. So absorb as much information as you can. And you also got to be learn to be a juggler. Um, I know you, most of your students will start to, when your assignments start to come in and exams that you've got to study and hand one different ones in. But at work, you may have about 15 to 30 projects at any given time and they've all got various dates you've got to learn to keep the balls up in the air so to speak be relevant stay on ha on top of what's happening in the news so because that would sometimes directly affect what's happening with your particular industry telecommunications is always constantly fast changing especially with um, in terms of centralized government and what they're doing so understanding how government works is really important because you never know at what stage of your career that you're going to, have to start interacting with them, especially if you want policy change. So you need to have a good understanding how government works.